Well, you know, success is always like, it's relative. You know what I mean? Because I, 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 I was able to have my thesis film go to Sundance and about 30 film festivals around the world. And it starred Kerry Washington and Dorian Missick, who's also in my feature, Premium. But that didn't necessarily equate to being able to make a phone call and have a door open or have a door open because you went through that um, exposure. So I think that as far as film school, you learn a lot if you apply yourself. You can learn the same amount by watching DVDs and applying yourself on weekends. But you get to be in a, in a not, I don't want to say control, but in a, in a consistent environment of creativity. And a lot of the people that you work with are going to be people that you work with in your career or who work for you or whom you work for. And so um, you also get the opportunity to work with different mentors. My name is Pete Chapman. My self-proclaimed title is Complete Filmmaker. So producer, director, writer. Right now, I've actually been shooting things here and there, kind of like uh, the Peter Andrew pseudonym for uh, Soderbergh. Um, and, and really, most importantly, finding a way to, to mix the necessary business angles to enable you to get to the set to be creative. You don't want to do this. I do. I don't. Premium was my first feature. Long time in the making, just because writing and learning how to become a writer takes more time than you think. I think a lot of people think that they've got screenplays, and even when you shoot it, it's still evolving. But um, that was my first feature, and we raised all the money independently for that. Star Dorian Missick, Zoe Saldana, Hill Harper, uh, Frankie Faison, Bill Sadler, Tanya Pinkin, Sean Nelson. So we got a, a hell of a cast because we were trying to tell a unique story, albeit independently and for not the hugest budget. But um, ultimately, it's a, a story about the most important person that you don't end up with. So you can learn a hell of a lot from he or she, but you're just not meant to share what you learn with that person in a relationship. What is it about this guy? What does he have that I don't have? You two sat up in my house and lied to my face? Hey, hey, yo, man. Honestly, I mean, I think there are greater lessons that I probably learned after graduation, but I think I had a, a pretty solid foundation upon which to build those lessons. I think you have to make it worth it. You know, like for every, like the analogy I use, it's like you have all these people coming out of Harvard Law. You know, Johnny Cochran didn't go to Harvard Law. You know, Scottie Pippen didn't come out of Georgetown. He went to Central Arkansas. You know, so it, it, it makes no difference the environment you're in if you're not actively applying yourself and trying to master your craft and put yourself in a position where you can show what you've got. So in, in the simplest terms, it's clearly worth it because it's like, well, is it, do you have to join a gym to get in shape? No, but all the equipment's there. You know what I mean? So like if you go to film school, all the equipment is there. All the people who can help you possibly are there, you know, and the ability to hone your craft is there on a daily basis, whether it's through discussion, philosophy, or application. There are a lot of people that were a lot more creative than me in class, I would look at their work and say, damn, like, that's crazy. You did, like, we're on the same equipment. How did you do that? But they wouldn't spend, let's say, the five years I did trying to figure out how to raise money to make the feature. Well, Double Seven Film is my production company. In recent months, it's been expanding beyond just film production to marketing and branding. But as an overall kind of umbrella, our whole thing is to make unique American stories. And so our motto is a new wave in American cinema. The idea that if we're going to define genre as a, a, a set of precepts where we can knowingly expect and understand certain things to happen, how can race be a genre? How can black be a genre? Um, and if we even want to take that further, you know, and say, well, hey, there's black music, there's black this, there's black literature, fine. But it's not a well-developed genre in the sense of what comes out on Friday nights, 13 weeks per year. Our mission is to show that you can, A, have stories with black people that are universally 
uh, acceptable and attractive in terms of just being emotionally compelling. And B, these stories are to be well-crafted by people who know what they're doing. Because it's no longer, in my opinion, just good enough to have, to say I did it. You know, like, hey, I, I, I typed this up and I bound it, here's a book. There ain't no book. It's paper, it's bound, but is it a novel? Is it something that, that will captivate me? And so just because you're, you have a, 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 what, three and a half inch disc that I can put into a DVD player doesn't make it a movie doesn't make it a film. And so our goal is to show that on all levels from craft to business to creativity, we can put together something that can be enjoyed by all. And that's a greater reflection of, of the American experience, which is really just peppered with, you know, the black experience, the Asian American experience and all that, all that together. We have a variety of, of ways for people to to be engaged in what we do. Obviously, double7film.com, you can check out everything. But um, I think more importantly for filmmakers, we have a weekly radio show called The Double Down Film Show. Uh, every Wednesday night at 9 p.m., it's live. And basically, it's, we kind of call it filmmaking through, film school through the back door. And so last week, we had on Zoe Saldana talking about Star Trek. She's also on my film Premium. Um, and then we had an acting coach on, Tracy Moore. We've had uh, Sam Pollard on. And again, a lot of these relationships that I, that I built in film school. Um, we have Mel Damsky on, executive producer of Psych and director of the, of the show, cast and directors, like just everybody in like every kind of key position. We're even gonna bring uh, a guy on who's known for telling people how to be a good PA. Like all this information is important. And then, you know, for those of, of your audience that are in New York, we do a monthly event called Short Shorts every last Tuesday of the month where we show uh, new projects from emerging and established filmmakers. And we're working hard to connect this virtual universe that's expanding with the physical world that hasn't gone away. We want to connect people and say, all right, well, you commented on that. Now you can meet him or her. You guys might have a project that you can collaborate on. You need an editor, you need a DP. Well, I know a lot. And you probably know people that I, I need to meet as well. So let's, let's meet. My name is Pete Chapman, and you're watching Real Black.